Top 10 Female Humanoid Robots 2022 This is shocking. There are many different shapes, sizes, and types of robots on the market today, but I think the ones that are the most intriguing, endearing, and acceptable to me are the ones that are the closest to us. Humans. People get most fascinated when they see machines performing the tasks that they are used to doing. And most importantly, when that machine is made in the form of a female. People get fascinated by it. So to maximize that interest, today we're going to tell you 10 female humanoid robots, and for that, you have to watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. Let's just start the video. A humanoid robot can be used for many different purposes, such as research and space exploration, personal assistance and caregiving, entertainment and education, search and rescue, manufacturing and maintenance, government relations and healthcare. According to Statistics Market Research Consulting, the global humanoid robot market was projected to reach 13 billion by 2026. Before the coronavirus pandemic and the economic uncertainty, as for the future behavior of the market, it's still unclear, but the use of robots is on the rise. Chinese companies have been frantically deploying robots, automation technology, and at the same time, doctors are grappling with COVID-19. In early March, Wuhan, China, opened a field hospital staffed by robots. This was known as the Smart Field Hospital. There, humanoids that have been donated by CloudMinds Technology, a Silicon Valley company, perform tasks such as disinfecting, measuring temperatures, delivering food and medicine, and entertaining medical staff and patients. As the virus spreads to the rest of the world, robots are being deployed in many countries as a way to combat this menace. In hospitals, some robots can help relieve tired nurses by doing basic cleaning and delivering supplies, while other robots can do the heavy lifting in warehouses. And industrial robots can maintain some production for manufacturing companies when their human co-workers are out on health leave. So here are 10 humanoid robots that can help humans in other ways. Number 1. Erica Erica is an advanced android that is designed for the purpose of studying human-robot interactions. She can understand natural language both in its written form as well as its in its synthesized voice. And most importantly, she can show a variety of facial expressions. A more advanced humanoid, Erica, who happens to be 23 years old, was created as a result of a collaborative effort between Osaka and Kyoto universities and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute, ATR. Although we are still a long way away from the day when every household will have its own robot, the Japanese have shown a remarkable acceptance of humanoid machines. It is a fact that Erika enjoys both the theatre as well as animated films. She would like to visit Southeast Asia one day and believes that her ideal partner would ideally be someone with whom she can chat easily. On the other hand, when asked how old she is, she is less forthcoming. Her answer was, that's a slightly rude question, I'd rather not say. While her embarrassment is obvious on the part of the questioner, he struggles to move the conversation back on a friendly footing as Erica watches with growing interest every move he makes. It is all rather disconcerting, but perhaps that is how things should be. If Japan's new generation of intelligent robots becomes a rival for humans as conversation partners anytime soon. Number 2. Sophia It is safe to say that the most recognizable face of humanoids is that of Sophia a social humanoid developed by Hanson Robotics based in Hong Kong. Towards the end of the decade, the AI-powered four-year-old robot will continue to serve as a robotic ambassador, helping to advance research into robotics and human-robot interactions. She can move, talk, show some emotions, draw and sing after having been talked by humans. It is one of the best. Now, number three, Actroid. The Actroid F robot is a modified version of the Geminoid F female robot model. It has taken a lot of effort to simplify, reduce the cost, and make these robots easier to power. Electricity can be used to power the air compressor and valves that control the movement of Actroid F. In addition, the Actroid F is also 30 kilograms lighter than those in the Actroid Geminoid series of full-scale robots. As simple as possible, telepresence webcam setups are meant to provide the right experience for a telepresence user while still being simple for the user to use. In order to communicate through Actroid F, there are three cameras. One aimed at the speaker for picking up facial expressions and movements, another camera showing the robot's face so the user can see how the robot is expressing herself, and an additional camera that displays a panoramic view of the robot interacting with people in the room. 
It is a little more complicated than your standard Skype portal, but that's to be expected when you are speaking through a robotic avatar. There is a video in which you can see, for instance, how Actroid F can navigate through a room based on face and head movements, as well as adjust its eyes depending on the sound. A very lifelike robot, which again is probably why watching it can be so eerie. Number 4. Nadine Nadine is a robot that is able to express human-like emotions, behavior, and dialogue. She is able to perceive both user and environmental cues the same way humans do. The paper describes Nadine and her capabilities, such as speech recognition and synthesis, gaze, face, object recognition, affective system, dialogue interaction, etc. Nadine is one of the most realistic humanoid robots in the world. She looks and behaves like Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman, and she's modeled after her. This robot looks like a real person and has real skin and hair. She also has very realistic hands. Nadine is a socially intelligent robot that greets you back, makes eye contact, and remembers all the nice chats you've had with her. She can answer questions in multiple languages and show emotion both in her gestures and in her face, depending on the interaction with the user. It's easy for Nadine to recognize people she's met before and have a flowing conversation. Nadine is also fitted with a personality, meaning her mood can sour depending on what you say to her. Nadine has a total of 27 degrees of freedom DOF, for facial expressions and upper body movements. She can recognize anybody she has met and remembers facts and events related to each person. So Nadine is the ideal companion when nobody's there. Number 5. Amica A cloud-connected platform called Amica is intended to be used as a platform to test artificial intelligence and machine learning systems. It has been said that because of the robot's cogniality, it could provide a perfect platform for developing interaction between humans and any metaverse or digital realm, according to the company. Owners will be able to gain access to all the robot's data, control it as their own avatar, and activate, animate, and simulate the robot from anywhere in the world. Furthermore, Amica's parts are modular and can function independently of each other, which means that there is no need for a full robot in certain instances. Because of the inherent interchangeability of the bot, Engineered Arts is planning to have it become more mobile in the future through updates. Amica's modular architecture will allow future upgrades, both physically and software-wise, to enhance the robot's capabilities without having to fork over the cash to buy an entire new robot. Number 6. Jia Jia the humanoid robot, Jia Jia, recognizes facial expressions in the interaction of others and responds via micro-expressions. In fact, she is able to determine the gender of people with whom she interacts. Her online fans often refer to her as the robot goddess, since she can speak both Mandarin Chinese and English. This humanoid is capable of spontaneous eye movement and can talk in sync with its mouth movements. She can also give accurate answers to queries on weather and hold basic conversations. Chen Xiaoping, the team's leader, sounded like a proud father when he and his prototype were recently invited to present at an economic conference organized by UBS in Shanghai's futuristic financial center. Number 7. Shalu The first female humanoid robot made in India has replaced Sophia. It is now our turn to look at the first female humanoid robot made in India. The robot Shalu was developed by Dinesh Patel, a computer science teacher at Kendriya Vidyale, IIT Bombay, who hails from a very small village, Rajmalpur, in Uttar Pradesh. Since Shalu is an Indian humanoid robot, she can speak in a wide variety of languages, 9 of which are Indian and 38 of them are foreign. With the help of face recognition technology, the robot is capable of identifying people as well as remembering them after meeting them. It is possible for Shalu to identify different objects in different environments with the use of object recognition technology. In the education field, the Indian humanoid robot is capable of providing correct answers to all kinds of educational questions that include physics, chemistry, mathematics, English, geography, and many more. In addition, she is able to start a casual conversation with people while solving different math problems. Number 8. Viometra Humanoids are being developed by a number of countries for use in space exploration. Viamitra, a female humanoid robot from India, was launched in December 2020 on a mission unmanned into space. The robot will conduct experiments involving microgravity as part of the preparation for future crewed missions. Number 9. Chihira Kanai Originally designed to appear as human-like as possible, the machine has now been updated to include the ability to speak the German language. Furthermore, Toshiba said that it had upgraded the control system of the machine in order to make its movements as smooth as possible in an attempt to showcase what it hopes will become a viable product for the tourism industry. 
Toshiba brought the Chihira Kanai droid to the ITB Travel Expo. The machine has been installed at a conference information desk where it will be used to respond to attendees' wearable questions about the conference. However, one expert pointed out that the realistic appearance might not be the best choice for Western audiences. In a recent interview, Professor Noel Sharkey, a roboticist at the University of Sheffield, said he thought the machine was clearly on the far side of the uncanny valley. The term is used in reference to the fact that many people feel increasingly uncomfortable as soon as a robot gets too close to looking like a human. So as long as the two remain distinct, the term is used in reference to the fact that many people feel increasingly uncomfortable as soon as a robot gets close to looking like a human. So long as the two remain distinct. And finally, number 10, Alter. Alter is a robot developed for the purpose of exploring what it means to be lifelike. It looks like a machine that has been stripped bare, but it expresses lifelikeness by moving in complex ways. While the movements look random, the underlying algorithm mimics the logic of neural circuits in living things. When you watch closely, a sense of lifelikeness appears. What's that like? Think about it. Alter doesn't move in a predictable way, rather its movements are determined in real time. In addition, your responses are detected by sensors and reflected in the movements. Using a central pattern generator, CPG, you can create basic rhythms that are cyclical yet gradually deviate from the original pattern. A neural network of 1000 nerve cells is recreated on the computer and Alter learns lifelike activities based on signals sent from the sensors. Alter is the result of the cooperation between a researcher of androids, robots, that look exactly like humans, and a researcher of artificial life, who tries to recreate life on a computer. And that's it for today. Don't forget to comment down your favorite robot from this video. And you can also tell us about the other humanoid robot, which we missed talking about in the video. Anyway, we hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And catch you in the next one. Until then, stay home, stay safe.